Hello and welcome to the talk with Tariro. Today on the show, we are unpacking one issue that we are all candidates of. Uh, that's the issue of uh, disability. Oftentimes there are cries, uh, appeals for us to offer our help, uh, our resources uh, to disability initiatives. And um, Usually, we think, ah, in Indaga Jarandi, right? In Dinamakumboese, I do all my things, so why should I be concerned? Uh, but when we are looking at disability, we are all candidates. And that's what we're going to unpack today. And then bring in the seriousness of saying, let's make sure that our facilities, uh, the resources uh, that are required to have those facilities, up and running are actually available and when we're talking of, of availability we're talking about not just the government uh, coming in uh, to put in resources but even us as individuals putting in those resources because at the end of the day it's you and me who would need uh, those services and uh, to unpack that issue i have uh, invited uh, precious uh, chikore she's coming from um uh, st giles rehabilitation center i'm sure we can hear when we're talking about rehabilitation they deal with uh, most of these issues. Uh, Precious, welcome to the talk with Tariro. Thank you, Tari. Yes. So when we're talking about we are all candidates of uh, disability, mm -hmm. unpack that for us. Okay. Um, when we talk about everyone being a candidate for disability, we are not trying to scare anyone, but we are trying to just conscientize and alert people on the possibility of them being disabled. Mm. You know, it's, um, it's very funny how people then end up being disabled um, and when we then have conversations with some of the patients who've been through our hands they then reveal what wh how they became disabled mm. i remember in one case one boy was with his friends and they were driving they were racing cars in the road and they had an accident yeah. and unfortunately the injury he got made him wheelchair bound the young man was still in university he was willing to finish off his, his university, but he had to break uh, school for some time because they, he needed rehabilitation. We had him at the center, and fortunately, we managed to help him. Although he was still wheelchair-bound, he went back to school and managed mm. to graduate. Yeah. Sometimes he does come back to say, hello, I'm here, and just to uh, greet and encourage other patients in mm -hmm. the ward. And another patient was talking about um, skipping their meds. You know, um, a patient who's uh, got hypertension and they are on um, chronic medication. So they were not taking their medication regularly. And unfortunately, they suffered a stroke and they became a candidate of St. Giles. Mm. Let's talk about just walking in the road. You may trip and fall yeah. and hurt your back and hurt your spine. And in the end, you will be a candidate for St. Giles. There are so many um, mm -hmm. you know, issues I can talk about, I can relate to. Some people go for surgery yeah. because of different medical conditions. You know, it could be your head surgery, your back surgery, and you do need uh, therapy. So you will come to St. Giles for the different therapies that we offer. Mm -hmm. So for adults, it's something that can happen at any point in your life. It's unlike for children where it's actually they're born with the condition mm. and they've got to live with it. Yeah. So you'd find that... Um, we just need to be uh, careful. We need to um, just be alert. Of course, some of those things we can't avoid. Mm. But for instance, if you're on the road, you have to, you know, you have to practice safe driving. Yes. That's why we always partner with the likes of Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe mm. to conscientize people on safe driving. Why least we offer those services, but we also want people to be safe. Mm -hmm. So looking at um, a center uh, uh, like yours, um, in terms of now the required resources, we do know government comes in with a grant. Um, here we are talking about everybody being a candidate. Mm -hmm. And we want to bring that uh, awareness of saying we need our centers mm -hmm. uh, to be fully operational. Uh, we know there are now requirements when there are buildings that are being uh, built, mm -hmm. uh, they need to have a ramp. Mm -hmm. But we still have some buildings that do not have, uh, have ramps mm -hmm. uh, and all that uh, not happening in our country. What would you say are the major challenges that you face as a center that's providing such a critical service uh, to Zimbabweans? Okay, maybe to start off with Tari, I just want to emphasize to say St. Giles is a private voluntary organization. Mm -hmm. 
um, and that simply means we are non-profit making. Of course, we do charge for, for, for the services that we offer, but um, at a minimal fee. This is just to cover our operational cost. Our operations are very big. If you've been to the center, you would know mm. that St. Giles is quite a big institution. So um, we rely mainly on donors, yeah. yes. And uh, being a center, probably I would say the only center that's operational in Harare, like in the periphery of Harare. Of course, we've got uh, Ruwa Rehab, but um, St. Giles is the main center that is in, near the CBD. There are a lot of candidates that come through uh, to us for rehabilitation. And through that, you'd find that our equipment you know, quickly wears out. Yeah. So we really need to replace our equipment um, often um, for our physiotherapy gym, for our occupational therapy gym, as well as for our speech and language therapy. Yeah. And, and you'd notice that um, the how the methods that are being used now to treat people mm. for 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 the different therapies um, are different and there's modernization mm. and um, over the years we have tried through our fundraising activities to re -equip, equip and retool our our main gym and our other therapy divisions mm. but we are failing to catch up because some of the equipment is quite pricey and um, and the equipment that is needed is quite um, you know there, there's so many things that I needed, the list is quite huge. Mm. So the main challenge that we face is that of equipment to use yeah. um, in our in our in our gym. We've had our fundraising golf tournament last year, and mm. we're happy to say we have re-equipped the main physiotherapy gym. Mm. And this year we're also having another event, a golf tournament, to re-equip our occupational therapy gym. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's mainly funding and people who come through with uh, donations, partnering with us on the different um, areas that we need for maintenance mm -hmm. and just to ensure that that the center is in the right state for our candidates. Mm -hmm. Yes. Indeed, we need to make sure our centers that are that important are well equipped. We will continue with our discussion after this short break. Stay tuned. <music> Welcome back. We continue with uh, our discussion. And uh, today we have uh, Precious Chikore from uh, St. Giles Rehabilitation Center. Today we are creating awareness to us uh, as Zimbabweans where we are saying when we're looking at disability, we are all candidates. It becomes sad when we cannot then access those services to rehabilitate ourselves. Um, maybe let's go back, Precious, uh, to then look at... Um, Say I've had an accident mm -hmm. and um, I now can walk. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm wheelchair bound mm -hmm. um, or I've experienced some health challenge and I'm now wheelchair bound. What are the services that you offer? Okay, um, we offer a 360 degree service on uh, rehabilitation. Um, and we've got a multidisciplinary um, approach to our therapy. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, physiotherapy, We've got um, occupational therapy, we've got speech and language therapy, as well as hydrotherapy. Those are the four therapies that we offer. Maybe I'll just want to explain more on a hydrotherapy, mm -hmm. which is not so popular. It is simply um, physiotherapy in a heated pool. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it's, it's good for people who have chronic back pain, uh, who have arthritis, and those patients who are probably not able to sustain the, the therapy exercises in the physiotherapy gym. Mm. So they will go into water because when you're in water, you are lighter and it's easier to exercise there. Mm -hmm. So that's what the hydrotherapy is um, mainly for. Mm -hmm. And at what point do I need uh, speech, speech therapy as, um, as a person? Okay, there are a couple of conditions that um, would need someone to get a speech therapy. So when you get a stroke, at mm -hmm. times your speech is lost totally. Yeah. And you will definitely need to go through speech therapy to restore your, your speech. Mm -hmm. um, at times when you go through brain surgery, mm -hmm. Uh, you may also lose your speech, so you would need to uh, go through uh, speech therapy. For those who would go through the uh, ear, nose and throat surgeries, mm -hmm. they also need to go through speech therapy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, when you are looking at um, um, 
the, the, the success rates. Mm -hmm. Say like I uh, had a stroke, mm -hmm. uh, maybe hypertension and then I have a stroke. I come to your center, not mobile at all, mm -hmm. struggling to walk. Mm -hmm. I've had an accident. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes doctors will say, you are now a cabbage because you can't do anything. You can you can move your hands. You, you literally can't do mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. When I come to, to your center, what are the chances of me being able to actually do something with myself, for myself? Okay. Um, well, the chances, it also depends on the um, extent of, of the condition. Mm. So we will have to, we, usually when a patient comes through, we speak to them and we try to understand the condition. We read through the doctor's notes and we also explain to them um, the treatment that they're going to get. But I would say from, ex, from experience with the patients that we've treated, mm. what we, our, our mandate or our objective is to say, we want to get someone to 80% of uh, mobility. Yeah. So um, when we say 80% of mobility, or 80 percent of independence rather mm. we are looking at uh, someone who's in a wheelchair they should be able to do their bed transfers bed to wheelchair transfers to bath themselves to cook on their own you know so what we encourage is for someone to be mobile so you could be mobile uh, in a wheelchair you could be mobile with a walking stick you could be mobile with a um, walking frame mm. however but what we want is mobility so that you are not just stuck in bed you can't move mm. and for most of the conditions um, we we, we've managed to achieve that. We have people who've come through on a stretcher and I tell you what, Tari, they have walked out of St. Giles. We do have so many testimonies of people who share that I came through on a stretcher. I wasn't mm. able to move. I wasn't able to talk. I wasn't able to do anything. And they actually attest that, you know, by the time St. Giles was finished with mm -hmm. me, I could actually do all the things that I couldn't. Mm -hmm. So we encourage independence. That's what we want. So in whatever state you are, some of the conditions are permanent. For example, if you've hurt your back, you may not mm. be able to walk yeah. for life. Mm. So you, of course you've hurt your back, but your other functions are still there. So you can still do whatever you can do in that wheelchair. Yeah. That's what we encourage. Mm -hmm. yes. And then uh, let's look at um, maybe somebody who's actually born uh, disabled. Mm -hmm. uh, do you also offer services to them or you only look at uh, uh, secondary disability? Okay, so we've got two sections, um, the adult section and the pediatric unit. Mm -hmm. So for those who are born with the, dis with the disability, I would assume that they come to us at an age where they will be um, under our pediatric unit. Mm -hmm. The same services that I've spoken about, the physiotherapy, the occupational therapy, speech and language and the hydrotherapy are offered in the pediatric unit. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to say, uh, we've got separate units. Mm -hmm. So the adults are treated in a different unit. The kids are, diff are treated in a different unit mm. and for children it's mainly management of the condition okay. so there are quite a number of conditions that affect children mm. um, some could be at birth yeah. and some is uh, could be as they are progressing mm. um, up, um, as children yes mm -hmm. so could you share with us uh, some of those that you have dealt with where I've, I've delivered my child, mm -hmm. they are disabled, mm -hmm. and I come there, I actually get those services because oftentimes we might have people who actually have children, but they think, and they don't actually know mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. there is some way they can go for whatever the child is going through to be relieved in a way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we deal with conditions like cerebral palsy. Yeah. We deal with conditions like um, autism. Mm -hmm. There's hydrocephalus. Um, there's anxiety. Um, delayed uh, milestones because some some you know some kids delay their milestones mm -hmm. um, delayed speech we also deal with that yeah yes so say like a child with cerebral palsy mm -hmm. will they be able to maybe unpick it as well could, okay if saying cerebral palsy uh -huh. uh -huh. say kuti vana mai vanzwisise sometimes zvika uya zvirwere zvakutaurwa nechirungu tokona kuta zvazvo zvinzwisa okay maninga akaita say uyo kuti munoti akauya tunokwanisa kuita a b c d kumbatsira all right uh, usually children vane cerebral palsy vanenge vakasafa some sort of a brain damage and which is caused by many different um, conditions. It could be my akaita mafids, it mm. could be akaita jaundice yellow, and then it affects the brain. But what then happens is it also affects the limbs. 
at times it does affect the limbs. So, yeah, ma kumbo ne ma woko jine ge jaka jaka atika na pamu jine ge jaka dai pamu jine ge jaka koko nyara. True kun tuwa vachinge vedu tuno go garane va neva umutimba. But like what we are hearing from precious, there is some way where we can go. Kuti maybe kuti mana gone even kushanti saru woko iroro. Kana ungo tu gone kumuva than jane ge agasharu akaita. We we'll continue with our discussion after this break. <music> Welcome to our third and final uh, segment of uh, this uh, episode where we are looking at uh, the issue of uh, disability. Yes, precious, before we went for the break, Wongoru kuheza kutsana ngura kutitombo ti mga nazarwa, ma woko pa mga kakoko nyara, kanoti makumbo, haasi straight, kanoti madiki diki, Shinoko na kuitwa. Mm -hmm. uh, Tsanangura shako kutitibatsire murie Zimbabwe. Vazive kutikana tine shakada romu muri. Pane kwa tunoko na kuyenda kutitunua na rubatsiru. Um, hongo nangani shiyeza kutanangura kutipavane nge vachita ya tunoti physiotherapy ni occupational therapy vane vachite mm. yeah. vane nge vachita kutuwa sanuza mitezo ye mwiri kutisa rambe yaka kukonyara kudai mm. kutimuanazo kwanza kuchida kukweza kufamba kana kutukweza kubata jinu kana haku inda kuchukoro kukwanisa kutora jinu achisa hapa kukwanisa kuchichikisa kukwanisa kufamba achenda kunoshibati la ega mm. um, kajinji kacho eh, jiriwele jinu sangra nema na nge ngori management kuti tikwanise kumuti akwanise kuzvitira zvinhu zvake ega tikada kutarisa kune mama condition yekuti vanhu vanotokwanisa kutozo progressa e, vamwe vanenge vaine cerebral palsy vamwe vanotozokwanisa ku progressa vakatita ma artist vakaita zve art and chatine kuchida kudzidzisa ndeche kuti vane ability mm. isusu ku send jails tinotaura kuti tino believe that every child be, uh, has a fair chance or deserves a fair chance mm. so chatiri kuda ndeche kuti vana havakwanise kukwana mu community ya tinayo. Majikwanisa kuita shofano kwanisa the maximum that they can do. Kana kuru kukamba ira achenda panjumba achino jubatira. Kana kuru kufamba uh, achenda panjumba achino jubatira. Asiva kwane mkwamini tinenzira ya wano kwanisa. So patino sangana neva na vanenge va, va ine ma disabilities akasi ya nasia na um, ngati lege kuwa shora kana kuwa chari sira pasi. Mm. Nena we kuti vana ya vano todo rudo vano todo kukwana. Shunungo di wane mwana ane five years. Do shunungo di wane mwana ane five years ane cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. So ndori mweda mzikura nungo sangana neva bereki. E, and anzwa mchiti pamwe mabereki wano varavana mzimba. Mm. Zimengwa ina we kuti mu community zatino gara atis kukamchira vana wapavano uya community and e, tinofunga shakawanda tinofunga uroi tinofunga shakawanda mm -hmm. asichukuru kuti mkwanse kwa na rubat siro e, kufakuni wano kwanza kukubati rai mm -hmm. uh, at the moment as a country we are struggling with the issue of um, drug and substance abuse mm -hmm. amongst our young people and when we hear the word rehabilitation we would then maybe think Daita Mwana who's become an addict or struggling in some way can they come to St. Giles and be re rehabilitated? Um, yes, they can come to St. Giles. Um, but pane a certain stage or a certain level, you know, kwani sa kutora vanu, vanenge vaita drug and substance abuse. Mm. Nena we kuti center yedu ino itakita for vanu wakasiana siana. And um, we are starting at a different stage. Um, my services are no offer. Uh, teenager kare psychology mm -hmm. department rino pinda ma departments es andareva aya and the psychology department no nge raka mirira futa our mental wellness department do patino zo tarisana neva nenge wa uh, drug and substance abuse where they come in but you wanna rubat zero from our psychologist from our occupational therapy division mm -hmm. kutiba kwanzi kuita get back into the community so the role that we are playing in St. Giles uh, with regards to drug and substance abuse is to help vaya wa Va go through therapy. Mm -hmm. eh, va ready to go back to the community to get uh, counseling services through our psychology department and to also get training through our occupational therapy department mm -hmm. where they can then go back to the community and fit in. But you can't say that you are not a person. You are not a person. drug and substance abuse. But you are not a person. But it's, it's, it's just a, a condition that will come when treated. I can go through treatment 
can therapy, they can get back to the community and become great people. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when we are looking at um, uh, going back to Vanava, Vaninga Vajarwa, Vaini disability, and Runganya mm -hmm. Kubana, because Kunema mothers machine, you are good struggling in your Mana cana acadaro. Do you know we are nigh into Zokera and Ekumbai, Re, can I put him name facilities a goody, Vanaman Kwansakunga, Achirap Kari, Papo, can I put one Vagenda Kuchkor, Juno Fambase? Okay. Pass and Giles to name facilities are uh, Mingati Maida to no offer. To name on St. Giles Special School. Iripopa sent up a do St. Giles. St. Giles Special School. It's a uh, chikoro chino run one government, but chiri pa St. Giles. Mm. Isus for St. Giles, chino zo support a chikoro. Neku offer ma therapies kuvana vano ya kuchikoro. Uyezi, tine hostel ino chengeta vana vane ma disabilities aya. Kune vana masinga kwa nise kuya everyday kuva kumba kuenda kuchikoro. Ne mamu anu gara musiri muarari. Mm. Anu gara kuna na mashingo, goromonzi. Kure kwa kutava kwa nise kuya everyday kuva yes. kuzimba. Mm. Ndosho ataka gazira awa hostel. Kuti kwa nise kuchengeta vana iva vava. Yeah. And usually vana vana ngwari po during the school term. So vana uya temi chitanga, mm. temi apera vana wenda kumba to be with their families. Yeah. Ne nawe kuti vana 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 families au kwa vana nge vachiva. Mm. So, Jacare, um, Tine at not uh, the St. Giles Nessary. Nessary in offer, um, a support kuma mothers and even have any disabilities. But when I was at work in the Kuchkoro, and I was going to go to the Kuchkoro, when we have a CC, we have a Kunesary, Canada for thirty, when I'm a boy of Toravana, Tinega Chidaro, Kutvana, my Iva Kwanise, Quitama, my Mabasa, Ekuchaka, Marie, can obtain a Kubasa in ordinary job, can you take a pump seeker or Kurana Masho Pavo, so that they are also able to find uh, a living for themselves and support Manawa in I. So my services are not offer from 8 to 4.30, and it's also during the school term. In 30 seconds, your key ask to Zimbabweans? My key ask is for Zimbabweans to um, come together and put a helping hand in any way that they can towards these issues of disability. Normally, people uh, do not care about it until they've gone through it. Yeah. But it is important that you just put a mind to it, put a hand to it. And I open this invitation to Zimbabweans. Please come through to St. Giles and just see, just have a look at the work that we are doing, at what we've done. We can take you around the center so that you can appreciate the services that we offer and the work that we're doing for Zimbabweans at St. Giles. Mm -hmm. I thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Precious, and that's, uh, that brings uh, an end to our show today. Uh, our key message is to say we are all disability candidates. Let's lend a hand. We need our centers to be fully functional so that when we need the services, we can easily and adequately access them. Until next week, it's goodbye.